What's up you guys? This is Ira and welcome back to another episode of Ira the Transformation Vlog. Now for today's video, we are trying out a new Chinese brand called Usha's Cosmetics. I thought it's gonna be fun and exciting because this kind of makeup is very new to me because the price of the product is just one dollar or should I say 50 pesos. I've been trying out a lot of high-end makeup and spending a lot of money wondering if it's gonna work. Now if this product will work, honey, it is saying something. So, <laughs> without further ado, let's jump right into it! Alright mga kaaura, this is everything I bought. Two eyeshadow palettes, one with pinkish undertone and one with greenish undertone. I also bought two liquid gel lipstick, two lip gloss, and this one is two-in-one. It's a brow gel and eyeliner pencil. And I also bought this one. This press powder and this two brushes. So, I just want to show you guys how cool the color story of the palette I bought. Now, ready? For the pinkish undertone, this one. For this 50 pesos eyeshadow palette, here's what I got. The swatches. The camera is not picking the pigment of the palette of the product, but in person, this looks sickening. And for the green palette, this one, here's what I got! My oh god! How much is this? No. 50 pesos. Mmm, sobrang close up. <laughs> this guy is for you to see the details. Not the details of my face, but for all the things I'm gonna be doing, okay? <laughs> so, what I like to do first is to brush up my hairs upward. This one. Doing this before putting any product is very essential. Why? Because you're putting all your brows in place, okay? Next thing. Yes, I'm taking this one, this Usha's Eyebrow Gel and Pencil. Alright, let's work this out. Okay. From the middle part of your brows, take a little bit of stroke. Slowly but surely, honey. Okay. Um, a pattern for you to do the brows is this one. This is where you start. And then you go down at the middle of your eyes, this one, which is the arch of your brows. And at the end, which is the end of your eye, it's gonna be the tip of your brows. Now I'm moving on to the upper part of my brows. Guys, this product is kind of warm from from the brows I'm I'm normally doing. Hirap dumaldal habang nagba brows. <laughs> and the product mm, for fifty pesos, this is not bad actually. And start to fill the front part. Mm, 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 mm. There you go. After this, I'm taking the brow gel. This is very essential naman for you to set the brows. But before that, I'm taking my spoolie to diffuse it a little bit more to make it more natural. This one, it's tinted eyebrow gel. Ang problem with this is pag ka apply ka and you do it wrong, ang nangyayari is na thicken mo yung brows ng sobra. Which is problem kasi hindi nagiging natural look in yung brows mo. Which is hindi yun yung, yun yung ayaw natin. So, to make it more natural, example this one, it's 50 pesos. 
take your tissue and diffuse the products from the brush itself. And you can start working it out na. Yes, honey! If you have example this one, mga lagpas, you don't need to worry, mom she's. Why? Just take your concealer, any concealer will do, and you can start to correct the lines for you to make it more crisp. The other brow finished off camera to save some time. Now, for this look, I'm taking my MAC Prep and Prime. What's the good thing with concealer? It can access your eyeshadow primer, which is the next thing we're gonna be doing for this look. Now, for my eyeshadow look, we are gonna be working on this side, the right side of my face. We're working on the green palette. And for the left side of my face, we're working on the pink palette. For the green one, all right, for this palette, I'm taking this one, this lighter shade, to set my eyes. Moment of truth. Is it really pigmented? We'll see. Now, for my transition shade, I'm taking this one. I'm just gonna blend this back and forth to give me a nice wash of color. As I blend, I'm just making sure that I drag it towards the outer corner of my eye. Now, using the same brush, I'm gonna switch to a deeper shade and we're gonna start to deepen up the crease. Now to add a little bit more drama, I'm taking that violet one and really focus on the outer corner of my eye. After this, I'm taking a cotton bud and wipe out the excess product from my lid. And I'm gonna take my concealer and start filling the half part of my crease. So now using a little bit more flat brush, I'm combining yellow and yellow green together and I'm going to apply that on top of my concealer. Diving back to a deeper shade I used, I'm just gonna blend right where the violet meets the yellow green to deepen up a little bit more. I'm using this apple green to blend it out. We're just gonna make sure that everything is soft and precise. Alright, for the other side of my eye, I'm using that hot pink as my transition shade. Now I'm gonna dive to this reddish undertone and use it to deepen up the crease. And to blend everything out, I'm using this baby pink. I'm really sorry guys if I'm naming the palette. That's the problem with this. It doesn't have a name shade. Anyway, I'm using this cotton ball with makeup remover to wipe the excess product from my lid and start filling it with concealer. Now using this pinkish shimmery nude. <laughs> That's a lot. It doesn't have a shade name, Fasher Labas! <laughs> and apply it on top of my concealer. And using that mm, maroon <laughs> and blend it towards the end of my cut crease. Wipe it with wet wipes, of course. And I'm using this Usha's eyeliner pencil they have and start outlining my desired winged eye. Now using the buffer on the other side of the pencil, I'm just going to lightly blend the eyeliner outline I did to set that in place. Now, I'm gonna use Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liner to set my eyeliner outline. Here's the good thing with that Pusha's eyeliner pencil. Since it has a precise tip, you can just effortlessly trace your desired wing eye. So guys, this is basically the eyeshadow we've worked for. Look at that eyeshadow. Honey, this is just 50 pesos, but come on, it's really working! Now, we are moving on to foundation. They don't have foundation at the store. So I'm just gonna quickly go and finish my makeup base, and I'll be back, you guys, to finish everything up. Foundation and makeup base on. From here, I'm gonna take my, this one, Usha's Gel Lipstick and use this as my blush on.
to set everything up, I'm taking my Crayolan translucent powder to make it nice and smoothly. From here, I'm gonna go back onto my eyes and finish working on the lower lash line. So basically, you guys, you just have to work on whatever's left on the brushes you used. Alright guys, while baking, I'm taking my Palladio Matte Bronzer and start working on the dimensions of our face. So basically, we're just gonna sharpen our natural feature. After the contour, we're just going to dust out all the products we used for baking and we are diving in to our blush on stay with me guys we're almost done with this look for my blush on I'm taking this care line oil control this one it's very pigmented so you better be careful on using it because it's ruin mo yung look Right before we set everything up, basically the final look is almost done. I'm just taking this pressed powder they have. Siguro nagtataka kayo, bakit hindi ko ginamit pang set ng face ko? Dai, sobrang pute. <laughs> and this one, they only have one shade. So, I have decided to use this to lighten our under eye. See? Hindi ako nagkamali. <laughs> this press powder is really light and it's looking good under eye. Nawala yung eye bags and it looks very fresh. The fact na it has, it is very shimmery. Meron siya sa mismo sa powder. Hindi siya nakukuha ng camera. Pero you guys, if you can see this in person, shimmery yung powder niya in which nagbibigay siya ng onting glow under eye. Which is Super perfect. And after this, we're just going to set this using my Master Fix. Wow! While the fixing spray is still wet, we are going to directly pat our Mary Luminizer Highlighter, my all-time favorite. You know this. <laughs> All right, for our lipstick, here's what they got. Their two liquid gel. Let's watch it. For the shade 104. Oops, there's <laughs> my shadow. I'm going to I'll be back. Let's watch that. For 105. More like chocolate. Yeah. It's more like chocolate. Set up. <laughs> and for the shade 104, I think I used it blush on. So you guys can use this as blush on them. Alright. And for their lip gloss, this one, in the shade 24. More like nude. And the last product that you got is this one. Alright, I think I'm gonna use this two. This one and this one. I used Nichido lip liner to outline the lips. And we are gonna be using this one.
you're still there. Oh, for my final thought, I'm gonna take a good consideration of what you can see. You guys tell me, do I look like wearing a 50 peso makeup? A dollar makeup? Oh. Um, does this eyeshadow doesn't have a color payoff? Isn't this blended well? This product. Isn't this worth it? You have this brow pencil and a brow gel to set your brow. I don't know. Maybe it looks bad. This pressed powder. Isn't this lightened up my under eye? Isn't this giving me a glowing effect? I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Isn't this giving me one point lipstick? Hmm? Maybe it doesn't have a color pigmentation. The pencil liner. Isn't this perfect for you to start outlining your eyeliner? For you to know how to perfectly make an eyeliner or a wing eye? I don't know about you guys. Isn't this perfect that it has a buffer? I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Just kidding. My point here is all of the products you saw is Ira approved for 50 pesos, honey. It's super perfect. The price itself is super perfect for those people would like to start doing makeup. And if you, he or she is an aspiring makeup artist, then this product is super perfect to start up. <sighs> Enough for the dramas, Ira. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it for this look guys. I really really hope you enjoy this makeup tutorial using all the makeups from Super 50 Usha's makeup brand. If you did, don't forget to give me thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell button below. And I really hope that you enjoy this guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.